video covers the term invocation. Let's get started. So what is it? An invocation is a prayer that asks for something by calling on a higher power or authority. Traditionally, an invocation is religious, so higher power. People are praying to a god or a goddess, Allah, whoever they b happen to believe in, asking for divine intervention, help, or assistance. However, you notice that it doesn't just say higher power. It also says authority. And that authority does not necessarily have to be a religious authority. It could come from something else, like a law, or maybe even somebody above you who knows more about a subject than you do, or somebody in a position of leadership or power, like a boss or some type of official. So it doesn't necessarily have to be religious. And that's where we get the second bullet. It can also mean the act of mentioning or referring to someone who can support your ideas. So someone who can back up your claims or help you accomplish whatever it is you're trying to do. There's a related word, and that's the verb form of the noun invocation. Invocation, of course, is a thing, all right? But the act of performing an invocation, we need a verb, and that verb is to invoke. When you invoke something, you are calling on someone or something into action. You're trying to get them to do something on your behalf. So let's look at some examples that aren't necessarily religious. For example, if you've ever been in a classroom and it's hot and it's the end of the day and then it's tired, you might be offering up an invocation to the clock. Now, do I mean that you are worshiping a clock? No. That is not what I mean, but you might be invoking that clock to move faster to hasten the end of the day. So that's one kind of cheeky example. Here's another more serious example from everyday life. You often hear about the invocation of the Fifth Amendment. Uh, colloquially, we refer to this as pleading the Fifth. What you're doing when you plead the Fifth is you are invoking your Fifth Amendment rights. What that means is that you are calling upon the authority of the law to protect, your, to protect yourself because, of course, the Fifth Amendment states, among other things, that you have a right not to incriminate yourself. You can't be forced to testify against yourself. People can't make you say anything about what happened uh, that would you know, hurt you in court. So that's the invocation of the Fifth Amendment. So why are we talking about invocation? At the beginning of the Odyssey, Homer starts out with an invocation. He opens up with the first page uh, with a prayer, asking a higher power to assist him in telling his story. So you see here it says, speak memory of the cunning hero, the wanderer blown off course time and again after he plundered Troy's sacred heights. Speak of all the cities he saw, the mines he grasped, the suffering deep in his heart at sea, as he struggled to survive and bring his men home, but could not save them, hard as he tried. The fools, destroyed by their own recklessness, when they ate the oxen of Hyperion the sun, and that god snuffed out the day of return. Of these things speak, immortal one, and tell the tale once more in our time. So you see, basically this is a prayer. Homer is appealing to a higher power, the goddess or muse of memory. And if you want to learn more about muses, see my other video. But he's asking the muse to basically tell the story through him. And he's being very specific about what story he wants assistance with. So he basically doesn't want to offend any of the gods and he wants to please his audience. So he starts out by asking for help. And that is an invocation. Now, let's apply this term to your own experiences. Your turn. So we've already covered what an invocation is. Now describe a time when you asked someone or something for assistance, or a time that you asked somebody to back you up. Make sure that you give a good paragraph response written in complete sentences that fully answers the question.